Food packaging is a fantastic invention because it allows us to store food across long periods of time. It makes food transportable. It enables retail selling of food. The problem with the chemicals in food packaging is not a new problem, but I think the awareness has only gradually been increasing with an increased understanding of the health implications of the chemicals. And while we better understand that not all these chemicals are great to have in food packaging, it's very difficult to actually change regulations. It takes a long time. And it's also difficult to replace food packaging that has been used successfully for many decades um, because there's also an economic factor, there's a convenience factor and so on. So food packaging really is a very complicated topic. Chemicals in plastics have the ability to transfer from plastics into food and that's a process we call migration. And that happens, for example, when you have food uh, that is hot, you fill it into plastic packaging when it's hot, or you heat food in, in plastic packaging, you stick it in the microwave. Um, migration also happens when you have acidic foods or you have uh, fatty foods, oils, or even foods that have a, uh, a, a small fat content. Those are all aspects that will increase your migration. Chemicals that can transfer from plastic into food are usually small molecules. And so these can be, for example, the phthalates or the bisphenols, the benzophenones, the PFAS, and so on, depending on whatever the monomers and the additives are that are used in plastic. So it's interesting to take a look at the so-called bioplastics which are made from renewable uh, raw materials like plants that are specifically grown. And PLA is an example of a bioplastic. The thing about bioplastics is that oftentimes they contain a lot more additives than the conventional plastics. It makes sense to use recycled materials to preserve resources, but when we think about the chemicals that can be present in recycled food packaging, for example, made of plastic, I'm a bit concerned because during the use and also during the recycling, some chemicals may accumulate in plastic. I do think that plastics can also play an important role in food packaging simply because some types of food are very intense on the environment in their production and we have to avoid any type of, of food waste. Um, but also there's, there's very good hygienic reasons to use plastic food packaging, for example, when we think of poultry or other types of meat. I think we have to be a bit smarter about the, the production and consumption about meat products, of course, as well. Um, but I do think that for, for certain categories, plastic packaging can make sense. Of course, ideally, we will use plastic packaging that does not contain hazardous chemicals and that does also not contain untested chemicals. And there's quite a bit of work still to do there.